Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're hailing from. Welcome to another episode of Get Ops Guide to the Galaxy. I am Chris Short, executive producer of OpenShift TV. I am joined by the one and only Get Ops extraordinaire, Christian Hernandez. Christian, how are you doing today, buddy? Hey, I'm, do- I'm doing good, and I'm, I'm happy with, uh, ex- excited. This is the first official uh, Guide to the Galaxy. Um, yeah, new intro this so, week. New intro, uh, yeah. Uh, we did a test run last week. Now, now we actually have it this, off. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> so we got the official intro bumper, which is really cool to see. I wore my rocket uh, t shirt because we're going to the galaxy straight to the moon, right? Containers uh, of Linux. Containers yeah. of Linux, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, so, yeah. And uh, <laughs> Hillary says, good, good start. We started right on time this time. Yeah. So, yeah. We, uh, uh, so we were, it's, we we're, we're improving. Things. Yeah. We're, we're, we're on top of things since we're official, official, official now. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm doing good. Um, it's been me, Chris and I were talking kind of a little bit before here. It's been kind of a crazy couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, we got a lot going on. We got a lot going <laughs> a on. A lot there's, going on. Yeah. There's KubeCon coming on. There's Summit coming on. There's the summer. I've, I've, uh, people always ask me like, when is your busy time? And it's like, it's always summer. Um, oh, yeah. cause that's when all the, uh, all, all the, the events, conferences, all the events everybody are. travels. Yep. Time it's off, always, everything. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah if people want to take time off and do this, and it's just, mm-hmm. it's just it, um, nice lull. Although during the winter, um, but this is the. Point. I don't even know if it's a lull, man, because it's just like you gotta you gotta do all the other stuff. Yeah, you weren't yeah, exactly. able to do right. Like, yeah, yeah, you gotta do your wild. day job stuff, right? Yeah. Um. So cool, cool. So yeah. So this week, um, we're talking about Helm, right? So Helm, um, Helm, Helm, Helm. So a, a lot of the times, uh, I think a lot of people's um default templating uh agent is customized right and yeah. so um but almost ignoring the fact that we have this whole ecosystem of helm that existed like beforehand right so <laughs> right <laughs> like this was this thing yeah yeah and, and especially we now didn't that, use it for a while because of reasons because of, yeah tiller, you know, right? and now that it doesn't have tiller it's like Yay! Flood, right? So <laughs> right, <it's>, exactly. <laughs> in comes the water. <laughs> in comes the water, right? So um, I, I think uh, it was it was a good um, good opportunity uh, to have a show to in, kind of introduce Helm in, a, in you know kind mm-hmm. of talking about um, Helm and GetOps and how to use it with Argo and um, this this will be you know going forward we we will have um, not duplicate shows, but like shows where like kind of we introduce something and then maybe another show, we go a little deeper and another show, we go a little deeper. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. So um, yeah, so this one, uh, we'll talk about Helm and I think I kind of want to introduce Helm a little bit. Um, I know it kind of seems, let me, let me share my screen. Right. Screen share, dance. Screen share. And this is always a fun dance I do when I don't know what screen I'm sharing. So hopefully this is the right <laughs> one. Um, hey, it looks like <laughs> hey, it worked on go. the first try. Oh, yeah, by the way, slides are already uploaded too. Let me yeah, there we go. Link. Yeah. yeah, so um, yeah, yeah, grab the link. I'll throw it on there, you guys. It, this is a very short presentation. It's kind of, I, I kind of want to introduce Helm only because as a Red Hatter, um, we actually weren't really using Helm all that much until version three. So right. it's, um, you know, it's, it was very big in the ecosystem. I've used Helm before in the past, like on bare Kubernetes clusters where I want to install some things. I don't know if you guys have seen the ones that are using, you know, uh, I, I'm pretty sure Washari here has, has used Helm in the past. Um, but like you start using Helm, you know, V2, right? And then there's Tiller and they're like, well, oh, you need to secure Tillering. And I don't know if you've ever read that securing Tiller doc. And I, it's like kind of overwhelming. And I'm like, you know what? not going to use (laughs) Um, the lazy person in me kind of was like, okay, you know what? Never mind. Um, Mm -hmm. But since Helm three came out, the, 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 you know, they, they took that away. The, the the need to have Tiller. Yeah. And so now Helm is a first class citizen on OpenShift, which then, you know, then extends Uh onto your, your GitOps workflow. So, um, and, and thank you Helm team, seriously. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I know that was an enormous amount of effort to get that. That was a huge undertaking. So, um, thank you very much to to the Helm team. Yeah. The Helm team, that was, it was, it was great. Um, and so, uh, for those of you don't know, Helm is kind of a a package manager for Kubernetes application, right? So Mm -hmm. think of it in the, um, in the same vein of like, like DNF. Yeah. Yeah, Or like, like even even like DNF or like app get or whatever you yeah. know pacman choose your package manager yeah whatever package manager you want it's yeah yeah same kind of thing right what is oh the wow I'm throwing a... them all out <laughs> yeah throwing them all <laughs> same idea right so yeah. um you know helm was a way to um 
uh, you know, define a, a set of, uh, I guess, manifests mm -hmm. in a, um, uh, in a predictable manner, right? In a release manner, right? So it's like, okay, I have these manifests that have, that provide this functionality. Um, and there's an example. order that we need to follow and yeah, yeah all that fun stuff. Yeah, all, all that, all that fun stuff, right? And so Helm um, was a way to install things essentially, right? Like if I want, mm -hmm. let's take an example, like MySQL, right? Like a MySQL, you know, like an HA MySQL. Um, yeah, like where you have deployment. to have multiple steps done and then like you got to set yeah. up a replica and then you have to do you know the syncing afterwards if it's like a read write kind of deal and you already have data in place yeah exactly yeah, yeah. so you something so you would you know you need some logic and some helm logic built behind some it, of yeah. that yeah helm does yeah. some of that right like you can do a helm install mysql replicas equals three and then off it goes right so mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like you, you think of that vein of of, of doing um package management and it also, I guess by extension, it's kind of like a templating engine if you really think about it, right? Because you yeah. can write your own Helm chart and you can say, well, I want to templatize my application and its deployment. Um, people can then give it parameters and it can deploy it in whatever fashion they want to deploy it, right? So it's kind of, you know, in a way, a, a templating agent, right? So there's, there's a um, few key pieces, right? So there's yes. what we call a Helm chart, right? So it's essentially... Yeah. The calendar-driven YAML that we all love to write. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's <laughs> <laughs> we're all YAML engineers, right? We right. have to put. We have to at this point. We have to put that on our. On we got to. We got to start with YAML and work our way up. It's like yeah. being a web dev HTML. It's now YAML, right? For mm -hmm. us, it very much feels like that vein kind of thing. Has yeah, happened. it's like you just you have a, a chart repository. Like essentially, is um, it's everything packaged up Kubernetes YAML files essentially, um, and um and yeah so <laughs> there's like yeah i remember, I remember that very well when yaml came out and yeah. i was told use use this thing that uses yaml and read the yaml spec so you understand it and i'm reading the yaml spec and i'm like this isn't helping me understand <laughs> <anything>. <laughs> yeah and, and, <laughs> it's the very early days <laughs> yeah and, and, and now it's my life right now it's just like right. I'm just like wrist deep in it um this this whole time yeah um it's like why why would you use this instead of xml but you know, yeah. here we are. No, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's essentially the chart is the package consisting of all the related Kubernetes YAML files, and then we have a repository. Set exactly what it what it what it says it is, right? So you have a repository where you have a collection of charts, um, a place central place where you can store and distribute your um, all your charts, right? And uh, a release is a specific instance of the chart running on um, on your uh, well, the cluster, right? Kubernetes cluster, right? So you have the chart, right? So you use the chart from a repository to install a release. This essentially is what it is. Um, and you have that inside of uh, um, Kubernetes running, right? So, um, so how does Helm work, right? Kind of this high, high value, right? You take the chart, which may or may ha not have default values defined. You can also have things like, well, you're required to submit me some values, right? So you can have some dependencies on there. But essentially, you have a chart and you have your values and you kind of, you know, glom that together and it, it ends up being a, a release in, mm -hmm. in OpenShift, either in a namespace or multiple namespaces. Yeah. Um, I think right now there's it's a one-to-one, -one, right? You have to have a Helm chart installed in a namespace. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, you have really multi-tendency there. Um, so this is essentially how all that gloms together. So, And Helm is essentially, you know, if you ever build a Helm chart, I've actually just started building Helm charts um, because, well, one, I actually needed to do something um, and like an operator was too much for it, right? Mm -hmm. um, but a Helm, it was like perfect for Helm. Right. Um, it's essentially. So it's, uh, people always ask me, well, what's, you know, why would I use a Helm versus operator, you know, versus OpenShift templates? It's like, it's not a or thing, right? It's like an and thing. Like, you know, right. you're going gonna, you're gonna to use a, the right tool for the right job, right? Yeah. So, um, you know, like operators, like I wasn't orchestrating anything crazy. Like I wasn't. Yeah. Leading, if you're not yeah. doing day two stuff and, you know, adding a lot of extra, you know, functionality to it, right? Where it's like, yeah, yeah. it can upgrade itself and do all these other things, which, you can take a Helm chart and make an operator out of it. 
yeah like, to give you an idea of like that like conceptual path right like helm can be part of your operator um, exactly yeah to kind of like layer up you know if that makes sense right like you're going outside in the cold you should have backups and redundancy yeah, yeah exactly HA. yeah exactly. now you need an operator but you can start with helm to do that which is awesome. yeah it, it's exactly so like my my use case was um was like you know what like i just need to uh deploy you know a bunch of yaml and have it have people pass parameters to it and i was like why you know like an operator mm -hmm. although great and it would have done the job an operator was pretty heavy it's like taking a yeah, they taking, can a be, yeah. yeah, yeah. taking taking a machine gun when all, all you needed was like you know like a slingshot right like it's like it'll do the job but it's kind of heavy um for it i'm always the right tool for the right job type of guy mm -hmm. right and um, actually uh braided silver hillary here is um I actually had this conversation with her on, on, on Slack, right. About, um, you know, like, should I make it an operator? Should I make it a helm chart? Um, and, um, yeah. So, um, uh, Bashari says open shift templates are deprecating. Correct. Yes. So, um, yeah, they are deprecating. They will still be a valid API because, um, for the whole lifetime of version four. Mm -hmm. So however long version four stays out, that's how long it will, the templates will work. But we are essentially deprecating them, saying instead of an OpenShift template, use a Helm chart. Um, so, yeah. um, and it's essentially the same thing, right? It's like yeah. essentially a, a way to make a template, right? And um, and this is uh, you know kind of like you know I'm, I'm templatizing something, so it's kind of it it, it fits in uh, really well. So, um, and then. Um, you know, you can create a values.yaml file, right? Mm -hmm. And so then instead of passing it through the command line, like instead of saying helm install dash dash set dash dash set dash dash set dash, you can all, you can put that like in a in a in a YAML file, right? So you don't a lot to... like uh, Ansible bars, right? Like yes, yes here's my exactly. settings for this thing, and it, it'll pick it up dynamically, kind of deal if any changes happen and you rerun it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like doing the at at values.yaml, right? Whatever. Mm -hmm. um, in Ansible, same idea, just pass it to YAML and Helm will, yeah. will take care of that for you. So, um, and uh, so, yeah. And so, um, so Helm integration with Argo CD. So it's- um, Yeah, let's put it. Yeah, so let's, let's put this <laughs> together, right? Let's marry the two together, yeah. Let's marry the two together because there's a lot of value in it, I think. So mm -hmm. I have um, uh, a, uh, uh, pe people have, like this whole history of Helm charts, right? They, they, they have this whole eco, there's a whole ecosystem of Helm charts that people have been using it. And then, you know, the, the, these GetUp guys, right? Come say, oh yeah, you know, I do everything with GetUp. <laughs> these these GetUp guys are doing everything with, um, with Customize. And it's like, well, there's, there's value. And I think using both. And I think, I think everyone uh, now believes that, right? So there's a, there's a value of, especially if I am consuming a service, Right, so I, um, not not in this show. Uh, in, in 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 the next show, I'll I'll show you how like I'm kind of pulling pieces, right? Uh, when I when I talk about app of apps, but like if I'm deploying an application, and I'm consuming a service that Helm installs, right? Like my friend and app needs a database, but like I don't want to manage that database, right? Like right. I, I don't want to yeah, I don't yeah, want to yeah. store all that YAML because it's like the same YAML no matter where I'm, you know, where I'm deploying it, I'm just going to use the Helm chart, right? And so I, th I think um, your applications are made of different components and the Helm can be part of that component, right? So um, so with Argo City, you can actually just say, deploy this Helm chart with these values, right? And you can override the, the default um, chart values, right? Uh, either separate value files or individual parameters, right? And, and, and you know, when we're, we're messing around here, um, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll mess around with some of these parameters here. So, um, this is managed via the UI or the CLI, right? You can do this, um, with the Argo CD CLI or the, um, uh, or the, or the UI, right? We'll use the UI. I actually don't use the Argo CD CLI all that much. And I'm a CLI guy. It was that right. Like I was about to say, you're like, aren't you the CLI guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it's, well, it's kind of funny because I guess that that's, um, kind of an extension of the practice of GetOps, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm just doing everything in Get and it applies. Like I do, um, I rarely need to go down to the Argo CD CLI, very rarely. Mm -hmm. 
really almost a troubleshoot. So maybe I should make it like a troubleshooting. We need, one yeah, we should make up like a how yeah. will this break in all the merry little ways. Yeah, and thing. like how to troubleshoot it. Yeah, yeah, so I think that's a that's a I'm gonna put that on my list. Good um, idea. Yeah, so this ever growing list of things to talk mm. about. But I think that would be a, a, a good. A, 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 but a growing list is better than a shrinking list. That's true. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um. So yeah, so there's a there's a caveat with the values not YAML file. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So the the if you have your own Helm repository, you will store your values not YAML file in that same repository. Meaning that, um, you can in a GitOps way, in in Git you can store your um, Helm repository and the values dot YAML file, and then do that workflow this breaks right Be mm -hmm. when you're using a public helm repo <laughs> because you can't store your bars that uh, your values right. yaml file on someone else's like like so exactly um, this is why you need to fork <laughs> yeah yeah or there, there's, there's which kind of sucks yeah. but yeah <laughs> there's there's a few ways around this uh and i'll go over it when 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 i'm messing around here um on the uh um uh in the in the demo or when we're, when we're hacking at it Hacking mm -hmm. at it until it works. So that's like one of the things, one of the caveats at, at the call out is that um, you can only store the values that YAML file in Git is if you own the, the, the Helm repo, essentially. Yeah. Um, and so, which a lot of places do, right? They have their own internal mm -hmm. repo, so that's not a big deal. But if you are consuming external repositories, that might be a challenge to yeah. do that in a GitOps, uh, in a GitOps fashion. So um or you could get crazy and submodule it somehow. Yeah, or like you said, you can like fork it, right? And or, yeah. you know, <laughs> I mean, that's you know, as, what as, you know, as much as I like, you know, a fork diverges from upstream if you're able to keep up with the upstream, you know, and and that's all you're doing is just pulling from upstream and adding your values file, you know, right? Like that's a good pattern. Mm -hmm. uh, the second you start mucking around with stuff in that fork and you're breaking the upstream compatibility. Yeah. you're gonna have problems right well so, and also some people like to do gating right so yeah. they do a, they do a gate where like they sync uh from mm -hmm. the public and public just, and then do another yeah yeah so that that's you know you, you can definitely do that and I, I mean i know chris you you worked um uh you were in the military right and like mm. you were disconnected all the time so oh, yeah. um yeah <laughs> so that's you putting know, it mildly <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> And so like, yeah, running a disconnected network, I mean, that makes sense, right? You're just syncing mm -hmm. from the, from the internet and, um, yeah. and then providing your own. So that, that, that'll work too, but, uh, there's a ways around it if you're just consuming the public repo. So, um, that's really all I had, uh, all I had in terms of like presentation. I kind of want to just talk about Helm in general. Um, you know what it is, what it does. Um, I don't know if there's anything in the chat. I think, um, no, just, uh, so Braden Silver said that they would love to have a, debugging episode you know yeah debugging and, episode i think i think that'd be good too yeah um and so uh one one quick note i do have to uh give a shout out to um uh andrew block right he, always uh, always right it's, so he'll Wait, always i've got his book too hang on <laughs> yeah yeah sorry well that's what I'm, i was saying we, we we need to we need to post this book um because uh, he literally wrote the book he literally on, wrote a book, book on helm yeah. um where is it? So I got it in well, here somewhere. I there we go. I, I got the link. Um, okay. I'll, I'll post it here. So, um, um, so yeah, and Andrew, Andrew Block here. Um, he's, he's always helping me. He, he'll always tweet me. He goes, mm. I saw your show. No wonder you were asking me all those questions. <laughs> <laughs> so hey, how he, does he, he have time to watch your show? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, who knows? He, he, I'll, I'll put it on the, on, on the stream here. So by the way, uh, learn Thank Helm, you. right. Um, I, I put it this in the chat also, for, for those. Yeah. This is also in Safari books. If you have a yes. subscription yeah. for O'Reilly learning. So, um, uh, so, you know, I, I told him I was going to give him a shout out to his book. Um, I promised him that I was going to buy it. So I will buy it. Um, I did buy it. I think. Yeah. So I just can't I, find it. Which is yeah. Funny. I need to, uh, buy Adobe's book. I need to buy uh, Andrew's book here. So it's going to, um, I'm, I'm backlogged on books I need to buy. Um, so, um, so yeah, so he literally wrote the, uh, the book on it. So check that out. Um, good stuff. I have happened to have the luxury of being able to ping him on Slack. 
So, <laughs> but most, <laughs> but, but most of you don't. So yeah. uh, the, the book would have to suffice. So um, I have an OpenShift cluster here. Um, uh, if you go to the developer view, uh, let's skip the tour. I know how to use it. There is a, uh, a section on Helm right here, and you can actually uh, deploy things and manage them via the directly from the UI, right? So first class mm -hmm. citizen um, on, uh, on OpenShift. So I just kind of want to point that out. Kind of something weird that happens with Argo, and, 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 I'll, and I'll show you when I do it. Um, can you the, increase your font size a little bit? Folks would yeah. probably appreciate that. All right. Right there. Is that good? Yeah, if you can do one more. Like, there you go. Do you like that? Yeah. There you go. So we are on 133. That's why I just have to remember that for um, next time. Um, Watch someone will chime in and be like, it's too small. Yeah, if it is too small, <laughs> let us know, please. Seriously. Yeah. If you can't read it, oh. it's important. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We want you to be able to read it. Um. So, yeah. So to get um, an Argo City application, we are going to be using, let me see here. Um, let me get the repo URL right. So we're going to be using this repo URL. Um, these are, um, there we go, uh, Red Hat Community of Practice uh, Helm chart, right? So, um, so we have a lot of lot of stuff here. There is um, even the IBM guys started like putting stuff in here. So this is mm -hmm. kind of unofficial official, right? So these, uh, a lot of these Helm charts are written by our consultants. So um, it's unofficial, meaning that like you can't call Red Hat to get support, but it's official in that like Red Hatters are writing them, right? Right. Um, and there's a, um, you know, how to submit a new chart and they're like very strict on um, what gets, you know, what gets put in and there's like a process and stuff. So I'm, I'm about to begin it's, this process because- It's not very strict. It's just there's governance, right? Like- Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> strict in that like we're we're not going to put anything broken on there so. right yeah, yeah we're so. we're making sure this is curated well yeah so i'm going to um uh, how do i move this here you, you guys don't see this but i see this here mm -hmm. oh there, there we go there you okay. go um <laughs> i don't want to ac accidentally click uh hang up, <laughs> hang so, up. <laughs> yeah oh hi folks it's just me now uh, no yeah. idea what christian was about to I, do, but let's try yeah. it <laughs> who knows right um i'm about to put the chart that i wrote on here um so I'll, you know, so look for that. It, uh, unless you're, you probably don't care about it. This, this group, it's a Windows container, uh, Helm chart. Well, they might care. You don't know. You might care. Yeah, <laughs> they might care. Yeah. So um, I ha kind of have weird two worlds going on here. I, I'm like the Windows container guy. I'm also GetOps guy. So it's kind of like, but I mean, you know, it's but just YAML. When you the put end them the together. Day. Right, yeah. exactly. Yeah. When you put them <laughs> together. What does it look like? YAML. <laughs> It's just you're pulling an image in from someplace yeah. else. That's pretty much it. So uh, here in the in the Argo um, UI, there's a section for repositories. Um, there's a Git repository. There's a way to um, add a Helm repository. So you can actually click here, do Helm. Um, and uh, we're going to call this uh, Red Hat Developers uh, Helm, right? And the repository URL. Mm -hmm. Cool, you have the... Uh, username and password in case you have it, you know, username and password and yep. a TLS certificate, all that good stuff, right? And mm -hmm. you click connect. Um, you'll see that. Um, oh, it identifies it as Helm immediately. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, so it's, you know, it's uh, not only a first class citizen on, on OpenShift, it's also with the, uh, with Argo City, right? There with the GitOps tool. Nice. Um, There's a little Helm, Helm logo, Git local. So here you can start managing your, um, uh, your repositories here that you're connected to. So let's uh, create a new app. All right, so when we'll call this, I'm gonna be using Quarkus. Oh, um, fun! I love yeah, Quarkus. Fun. Like, fun. I'm not a Java person in any way, shape, or form, but I love Quarkus. <laughs> it just yeah. blows my yeah. mind. Well, it it blows my well because coming from, um, you know, coming from like the old Java world where you have, you know, where you know it can mm -hmm. take minutes for your Java application mm -hmm. to come up. And then or, now to or an hour in some or places? an hour, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, you know, going from you know that to like coming up like in a snap of a finger, right? Mm -hmm. Like seeing like that Java application come up like almost instantaneously is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm telling you, like Daniel O. Anytime he gets out there and is demonstrating Quarkus, I like the one time last two years ago now uh, he was in uh raleigh doing devops days raleigh he was doing a demo of corcus and literally people in the audience were like whoa wow 
and like Raleigh is a big Java. Like there's a lot of Java in Raleigh. So yeah, a lot of yeah. Java people there that were very mind blown. Trust me. It is cool stuff. And I don't say that lightly. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, it exactly. Is it's very cool. Yeah. It's, it's uh, pretty cool. Like to, to the point where I was like, Oh, I have to, I have to show this, this cool uh, Corcus yeah. app here. Um, we'll do default uh, sync manual. So all this stuff, I'm going to auto create namespace. Like all this is just normal, you know, whether you're doing Git or, or Helm, you're, you're doing this right here. So um, mm -hmm. doing repository URL, if you, um, if you click here, all of a sudden, right, you see a little check mark says Helm, which chart, right? So this is pretty cool. You can, act, uh, there's some like IBM stuff. Um, I'm going to use a Corcus. And then you can choose what version. I want to use the latest. Uh, cluster destination, that's normal, right? Namespace, let's do, uh, let's call this demo for lack of a better name. Values files, right? So here um, ah, you can go. actually upload your values files, right? Um, you can change oh, okay. it um, yeah. uh, here, right? Like if you're, you know, if, if uh, you know, if you're a YAML person, right? Like I feel home at home at YAML. Oops. Um, <laughs> you can edit the YAML directly. You can upload uh, the values files directly here, mm. um, or you can just give it the parameters here. So this is cool. This is kind of like oh, that's a kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of nice. So you don't have to like kind of, if you already have the values files and just upload it, but if you don't, if you just kind of want to just deploy an application, you can actually um, choose it here, right? So that's- well, little... I, I'm, I'm curious, if you uploaded a volumes file, would it update these parameters, mm -hmm. right? Because I could see this as being like a way better way to manage things like per app, right? Yeah, yeah. So it would you be know? interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe if we'll you have multiple after, versions yeah. of like a microservice running, right? But they all need a different parameters based yeah. off, you know, some business process or, yeah you know, exactly. whatever yeah yeah you know being able to just be like okay this one is connected to this and it needs those parameters yes it's great to put that in a file and save it somewhere but also if you got to move it on the fly for some reason performance disaster whatever whatever yeah yeah here. yeah yeah it would be nice um here uh this is a source to image builder um mm -hmm. but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do so i, I set this to false Nice. Uh, no, notice it says remove override. So I'm saying I'm overriding the default values, right? Mm. So I'm going to set this to false. Um, by default, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. I, I wish these were, there we go. They are, I was like, I wish they were in alphabetical order. Oh, actually they are. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thing, sub-resource, thing, Yeah, sub exactly. You wish the sub-resources were in alphabetical yes, order. Yes, <laughs> exactly. That's exactly that. I want the sub-resource to be alphabetical, not, not, yeah, exactly. Uh, so uh, at, at least you know how I think, right? right. So the, uh, <laughs> now I know, now I know. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it says uh, re, uh, route Deploy TLS. TLS route, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, so you do that true. Um, let's see here. Uh, so redirect, I want this to be allow, right? In, um, insecure, right? So, oh, okay, that's like if you want to, I will, I also want from HTTP yeah. to always HTTPS kind of thing, yeah. So, redirect, mm -hmm. it won't listen on 80, but if you put allow, it'll listen on both 80 and 80, right? 443, right? Um, so here, there's other termination stuff, right? Uh, and then the image. Uh, I want to use a specific image. So where is that? That is image name. Image name. There we go. So I have this. Um, since this is a cooking show, uh, image name. There we go. Um, I'm using again Andrew Block's uh, image. Great artist steel. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> um, I'm going to make this an NFC and sell it. Oh. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> NFT, is, NFT, NFT, yeah, NFT. Sorry, <laughs> non fungible uh, token, which is yeah, yeah, exactly. NFT, I want to make this an NFT, <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's a conversation for another show. So. <laughs> Although I would buy Andrew Block's NFT images because they're I, worth their weight. I feel like it'd right? be too expensive for you, to be honest. yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> the need, bidding would get pretty high. I need more like Ethereum or something, so I yeah. uh, you can yeah. click, <laughs> <laughs> you click create and then, um. Draft. Normally, you'll see uh, a different icon here. Here, it, it mm -hmm. knows that it's a Helm chart, right? Right. And then here, um, it's out of sync. Out of sync, right? There's nothing there. So if I click sync, um, it will begin a sync process. Essentially, um, it installs the Helm chart here. So wow, nice, just like that, just like that, right? And so, um, which is pretty cool because. Um, 
good news, bad news, right? So good news mm. is that you don't really have anything on um, in Git that, right? Good news, bad news. So like, I, I didn't need to apply anything on Git. Bad news, good news, right? So, right. How, how, you know, um, I can install Helm charts here. Um, Left and right, like without yeah. now any uh, obstruction. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I can, and here we go. So we got uh, the route is up. I told you Quarkus is fast. So, mm -hmm. so let's here, let's get this URL here. Uh, let's paste it. Uh, oh, you forgot the queue. I forgot the queue, yeah. Right, so then you get, you there know, you uh, get upsolves Helm. You, know, you can use it side by side. Um, and so there, so I ha have the app up and running. So I actually, um, one of the things I found kind of weird, so I, I think, I don't know if Shubik is on chat. Maybe he's watching this uh, later. Maybe. Uh, the, the One of the what, Argo CD uh, architects. If I go here to the developer, view right and i look at demo right i can see the um i should be able to see the the Quarkus app here if it come on let's go i was about to say did you irritate firefly <laughs> there, there we go yeah i know I, I don't know how i did that um so here it shows the actual app um but if i go to helm it doesn't list it here so i don't, I don't mm. know what um hmm I don't know what happens. Also, another thing that's kind of weird needs to keep in mind. I think, if you, do, I think I know why that is. If you do a Helm here LS, um, it doesn't show up either. Hmm. So it's it's kind of yeah. So it's kind of weird. I do. I think it has to do with if I do an OC get uh, secrets. Helm installs a oops, not get 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 secrets. Yeah. Helm installs a. Um, uh, what do you call it? A uh, bundle. A bundle yeah. in a secret, right? Mm -hmm. And that's how Helm keeps track of what's installed where. And so um, I think what's happening, and someone correct me if I'm wrong, um, is that it does it doesn't run Helm directly, right? Mm -hmm. it, uh, what it what it does it it basically runs it. Um, I forget the name of the. Well, it Process, right? well it, it does a Helm. I forget what it is. There's like a Helm template, and then it it basically spews out the YAML, mm -hmm. and you can pipe that to like cube apply dash mm -hmm. F, right? And so I think that's what's happening. They're doing they're basically using the Helm to render right your YAML and then piping it through apply. Because if I do, uh, so let's, what's just that? real quick. I mean, like this past 30 seconds like i can take this ship at the serena and just be like hey yeah yeah <laughs> what's exactly, up yeah. you know hey what's up yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> you know so i'll definitely do that <laughs> so like if i do oc new project um and this is let's call this um i don't know a uh, foo right whatever and i do oc project make sure i'm there and i can do a helm install of um what is it what did I call this? Let's do this live. Uh, Helm, uh, what is it? Repo? List. I called this Red Hat Charts, right? So uh, we do this. Uh, Helm install um, Red Hat Charts. Wait, I need the name. Um, var. Name's and then <laughs> Red Hat Charts, uh, Quarkus. And then uh, I guess I don't really care. If it's broken or not, I, you need to pass it parameters, but it's like broken, right? So uh, it doesn't matter. Um, now I do OC get secrets. Uh, there's a Helm release here, right? Mm. So the Helm release here, and then I do OC get secrets, oops, secrets of um, demo, right? Where the other Helm chart was supposedly, it doesn't have that Helm. So I think what's happening is Argo is doing a uh, render and apply so just kind of keep 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 that in mind um i don't just personally i don't think it's a big deal maybe washari has a different opinion because he you know he's out there um in the weeds um you know doing this stuff since i'm managing everything via get ops i don't think i care all that much um i don't know uh, i think i'm, I'm still kind of mulling that over whether that's a good thing or bad thing 
whether it um, uh, creates a bundle. So, um, so one another thing I wanted to show. Let me make this bigger. Is I have this uh, in Git. Right, so I have a um, uh, an application. Um, this is how you would do it via an app, right? So, like, if this is a this is essentially the the YAML way of doing it <laughs> via the UI. So, this is kind of a GitOps way of doing it, where the representation of what's in Argo is in Git via this YAML manifest, right? So, like, if I want to, um, you know, make this instead of false, I want to make this true. I'll just do a PR against this, and then this will get applied um, to the uh, um, uh, repository, right? So um, in order to do this, though, you have to kind of do something called uh, an app of apps, where I create an Argo City app that deploys an Argo City app. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, a, that's a, a thing for another show, because um, oh, yeah. there's, a, right. there's, a whole, there's a whole thing. But yeah. you would do something like that, right? So let's, um, let's try that out. So let's delete this. Aww. And oh, and then um, let's create an app of uh, apps, right? So um, where would I put this? Helm. Uh, let's do this. Let me let me get clone this real quick. So let's go to the UI. Let's go. Uh, get uh, get ops examples. Get pull. Up to date. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Helm. Um, let's, let's create a directory. Let's call this, what do we call this? Um, what are we doing here? Uh, Helm deploy, for lack of a better term, right? Oops. So here I want to create an application that deploys an application. Um, I have an example of this. Hopefully I do. Well, I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're about yeah. to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to do it. Yeah, I have. Yeah, so an application of an application. So I'm going to take this example okay. here. I'll call this um, uh, Helm app. So here, um, uh, Helm app. Oops. Take this and change that to Helm app. Uh, Argo City is fine. Argo City is fine. And so, uh, what I'm going to do. App slash app. Yep. Okay. And so, uh, that's in Helm, Helm deploy. No, that's Argo City app, is what I want. Argo app ah. is what I want. So, Helm. Um, Helm app. And it's here. I want, uh, uh, we want slash Helm. All right, so it's going to go to this repository. It's going to go to Helm or go app and then read that manifest. Okay. Um, and then that's the same for this guy. And then da, 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 I think that's it. Okay. Or go CD or Helm, Helm app. So, um, so let's go Helm. I don't think I need to make a customized file. I guess we'll see. So this, so what this, so what, so then let me kind of explain what's going on here. Yeah. Well, so, uh, yeah. so the application here, this application says that I want you to go to um, this Git repo following this path and apply any manifest that you see there. That that's essentially what an application is uh, in um, in uh, Argo CD land. So. Um, I'm going to go to that repo and then go to that directory. Um, and in that directory, just so happens to have an application, another application. So it's an application that deploys an application. And so, um, um, so then when Argo City says, okay, I'm going to deploy this. And in here, it's just another application that deploys that. So, um, and um and so what we want to do is first we want to get add, get commit, 
Press A, uh, Helm app. Okay, push, right. Um, the best commit messages. Only the best. Only the best. No. Well, I, <laughs> when, uh, well, that, this is why, like, um, I always get, I don't want to say, I always get scolded uh, when, when I'm like committing upstream. They're like, you need to squash your commits. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Because there's like 800 commits. That's right. Up, yeah. That's just updated, updated, updated. <laughs> like, it's just, or like, KKK. K, K, K. And it's like, oh, yeah, I need to, sorry. I need. <laughs> they're like, please. Typo. Yeah. <laughs> So if you see all my PRs, there's at least like the maintainer, there's at least, there's always at least one person that says, can you squash your commits? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Cause yeah. Cause updated isn't, um, uh, useful commit. So, um, mm -hmm. so this creates, um, so let's go to GitOps examples. I'm going to go to Helm and, uh, Helm deploy Helm app. Right. So, um, so let's see what happens when, when I deploy this. So I want to do application name. This is a Helm app, a default uh, manual sync policy. Sure, why not? I mean, yeah. it's not gonna... yeah. Repository URL, getting started. Not getting started. This guy. Here we go. There we go, this guy. So, and I want um, Helm. What is it? What are we doing? Helm app? Helm dash deploy. Uh -oh. Destination and the new space Argo City, right? Um, mm -hmm. And then let's create this here. So this barfs. That's fine. Time um, will tell. Yeah. Okay, so this is an app, right? So this is an app that deploys an app. So it's an application of an application, right? Um, and and I'll explain to you why I'm doing this. Um, when yeah, when, I think when the get done. there's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. So like, I'm for first. I'm doing the what, and then I'm gonna do the why. I'm doing this. So, mm. um, so once I click sync, you're gonna see another little card pop up of the application. Mm. So let's do that. Uh, synchronize, and then uh, this is syncing. Wait this for it. A, wait for oh. it. it. Should pop up soon. Progressing. Progressing. Health, All right. Healthy. Mm. Yeah. So it's healthy. And this, uh, there we go, Corcus app, right? Yeah, there you go. So Corcus app. So then here we yeah. go. So th this is now uh, uh, an app that deployed another app, right? So now you see the Corcus app. If I go here and I look at the um, you know URL, make sure you get the queue this time. Mm, yes. And I get my app again. And so um, so why why am I doing this, right? So you're gonna say right. Christian why. Why, why are you doing did this? You go through all that trouble. Yeah. Why did you create an application that deploys an application, right? So, mm -hmm. um, especially for Helm, since remember before I said that like there's really no way to control the vars.yaml file unless you're hosting it. Right. Um, now you have a way of hosting. Taking that upstream thing. Yeah. And hosting your own thing. And yeah. Smashing you're, them together. <laughs> you're now now when you need to make a change. I can make a PR to this. Right. Right. You go to and your repo to make a yeah. yeah. So then oops, that's not that's the helm app of what I want yeah. is the Argo app. There we go. Um, I can change this. Now this is being managed. Now this is being managed in a GitOps fashion. Now if mm -hmm. I go if I go here and I do this to uh, deploy TNS enabled, uh, if I do this to true, um, and I commit this. Again, the I best go, commit message in the world. Yes, updated. <laughs> and I click sync, right? It's going to say it's out of sync and it's going to sync, uh, sync up uh, nicely, right? There we go. And so this here should give me, should give me. In theory. In theory. Uh, where is, it should give me an HTTPS. We'll see here. Uh, Helm, fine. Helm. So it still says HTTP, but let's see if it if it gives me an HTTPS. Um, oh, it would be under it, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would think. Let's see here. There might be something weird I have to do with Helm um, afterwards. Oh, it, I think it already redirected you. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's there's something in Helm I have to do. I forget. I forget what. But um, I'll I'll, I'll figure it out after. Um, 
just like anything i'll figure out after the show and then i'll have to tweet it out um the, or you could be like andrew and start doing blog posts yeah yeah i was actually thinking about doing a blog post kind of like a recap of what i did mm-hmm. last, last week i think um and so um question so, yeah. from chat from uh yeah. carl phillips one carl phillips one uh are the logs friendly to read debug from argo like, yeah what so do those argo um, logs look like yeah so that's um so well first you need to authenticate right so like let's for the first time ever let's do an argo cd um here we go login right uh first of all i need to uh argo cd right so I'm there starting off clean. Yep. Uh, Argo CD uh, login, SSO, and secure. And then I want this guy here. Uh, uh, oh, no, yeah. oh, yeah, you need the port. Well, and I, I need to remove the HTTP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that too. That helps. Then it goes here. And then, uh, oh, man really making me struggle here too bad yeah they are i thought you were already logged in <laughs> yeah i know um what's the password you don't want to do that off screen uh well i'm going to destroy this cluster after oh okay never mind. <laughs> uh keep adding password here and if you can memorize this then you're you're allowed you made a force to. with you clear yeah yeah, yeah, fine, yeah fine <laughs> well they just hit pause and done yeah yeah well i mean when well, this will be gone too so now i'm authenticated um and then um, authenticated, yeah. So if I do an Argo CD um, app list, cool. um, it gives you information about this here. Uh, there's no error, so it's kind of hard to kind of just show the logs here. But um, well, there's a deploy log or something, right? Yeah, uh, Argo CD help. This will give you some. Um, Argo CD app uh, edit get. This history. Yeah, there's a. Um, there's gotta be a log. Where were the logs? Yeah, I was, I was thinking. I was thinking. I was thinking. Um, there's like a maybe get. Yeah, it's probably like get log or something like that. Get logs. Uh, well, first get I need an app, app list. name. Yeah, you need the app name first. <laughs> and then, uh, what do we get? A get uh, Corcus and app. That. And then, yeah, so this will give you um, information on why it's not syncing. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas um, if I do an OC get uh, pods in Argo CD, um, you must be, oh, of course, I guess. Ah, um, of course, you're not logged into the cluster. Yeah, OC get pods, Argo CD. I'm in a different yeah, session different here. Yeah. 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 Um, and so here there is the application controller, there's the operator and there's the server. So the server might have, um, mm. um, oops, not get logs, OC logs, uh, Argo CD. Um, Do you, maybe an easier question. Do you usually view the logs in Argo in case of an error? Yeah. So the, um, the errors you get are usually coming from the argo cd so like you would do like oh, argo cd app Synchrony. get yeah yeah and like you would sync it and then they would give you the information here on why it's not syncing um right. i've ran into the um the issue before where the ui doesn't display you know it, it'll give you that there's an error but there's you know i'm like okay well then why though and right, so right. then yeah, that, that's when you would you would drop down so here Tell me um, why yeah why why um why are you doing this to me argo uh. <laughs> and so um i actually had an error the other day I'm, i wonder if i can recreate it um I just misspell something i'll give you an error right yeah <laughs> misspell something yeah right um maybe i'll do that uh let's go to um easiest way uh, to create an error syntax <laughs> yeah so let's go to uh uh bgd this is and let's go to error and then uh let me just um let's go to a names let's create this in a namespace Right, like we'll just okay. have an error. We'll just like make it 
really messed up. Yeah, make it horrible. Yeah, like an import, uh, you know, like basically. <laughs> right? Wow, like you're just, you're really tearing it. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, the service thing might work. Uh, you know, the service it'll probably work. Yeah, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. I'll get pushed. Let's do that. Uh, All right. Uh, get push. Oh, I have to get pulled first. Oh, duh. Yeah. Yeah, accept everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, now push it. There we go. Get with and... abandon. <laughs> yeah, so let's get, uh, get with abandon, right? Uh -huh. uh, project, wherever, manual. Uh, repository URL, this guy. Get off the example. And we want it in. Watch it work, right? Um, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> right. We want. Uh, we want to break sorry. something in the last ten minutes of the show, and it's not. Gonna work. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen. So. Um, okay. Out of sync. Here, let's sync it. Yeah, sync failed. Failed. So usually, so sync what does failed. it tell you here? Yeah. So if I if I click sync failed, it'll say uh, one or more synchronization tasks were not valid. Um, it'll okay, get this message so here. Good. Sync failed. S S S B C. Yeah, serves not found. Yeah, right. Not found. Yeah. So it's and looking it, for a service and it's not finding it. Yeah. So and then if you do, um, you know, uh, what is it here? Argo. Is there a, where does my Argo command go? Okay. There you go. Uh, app app list. Uh, and it'll give you, um, you know, out of sync, missing, missing. out of sync, yeah, right. And then you go out get uh, BGD, and then it'll say it'll give you this message here. Yeah, um, not found. It'd, it'd be nice if they had like a describe or something. Would be cool. Mm, um, yeah. But um, this this will be here. This it it'll basically tell you. You know, I made that typo. And it mm -hmm. says, oh, it's, it's out of it's out of sync. Um, and so, um, in another show, we can go deeper in uh, debugging, but um, you know, it's so the the I guess the genesis of the question is that like how how can you tell if something is like an OCP or a Kubernetes error versus an Argo CD error? Mm -hmm. um, you for for the most part, you have to you have to see where the um, what the messages tell you. Um, right. because yeah there, there can be a disconnect right like your application manifest could be fine it may be like an error in your um like kubernetes cluster right like the pvc you know not there it's not there not or whatever, binding, right? yeah. whatever's happening yeah. yeah so um there there is kind of a um you know you have to do some kind of spelunking um so well, it's um, distri it's distributed systems and we're yep. automating distributed systems through git so mm -hmm. like there's a lot of moving parts there and it's not just Argo and Kubernetes and OpenShift. You yeah. Know, yeah. Got to peel the Git repo. There's yeah. all the files in it. It's a full like ensemble of things. It's an ensemble <laughs> of things. Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, so yeah, cool. So, um, so yeah, so kind of just like a basic idea kind of recap, bring this all together is um, you can, um, Deploy like if you if you have Helm if you're invested in Helm, you can still have a GitOps pattern with Helm, um, and so, um, you know, with it, in this in this stream we kind of just touched on it a little bit, right? Um, in future streams, I'm going to be talking about Helm. Um, you know, I'm going to bring about um, you know maybe using Helm GitOps patterns, right? Kind of discussing going in a little deeper on how you would do that. Uh, maybe I'll bring in a special guest. There's a lot of special guests I have lined up. Yes, you do. Um, very, very exciting stuff coming up. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, look, look to be diving deeper into these. Um, uh, you know, as 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 we go, uh, you know, take this journey right to the galaxy. <laughs> Get right. off guide to the galaxy. We, um, you know, we'll we'll bring on guests and we'll dig deeper on these little things. So that's all I had today. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't I don't know if anyone has questions, comments here. Uh. So uh, Carl Phillips one says, I assume if the error, you know, if the error is bad enough, you have to jump back and forth a bit between Argo and OCP to figure yeah. it out if it's not obvious. Yeah. Yeah. If it's not obvious, what's really cool is that you actually get um, the events 
here. Uh, of course, it doesn't show it, right? But right. you, you, you can. Yeah. Uh, well, a pod would have the event, right? Let's go do that. Yeah. Right. You can. You can see the Kubernetes events, right? Like OC get events. Mm-hmm. Um, you can that comes through in Argo, right? So you can have that. You can look, take a look at the logs um, from uh, from the actual pod or whatever. So you know, you you can do probably like. I would say 80% of the debugging, right? From like, if you're using the Argo UI, you can, you can see that here. Um, it, the true is not, the same is not true from the other way around, right? Like I can't see Argo errors from OpenShift. Right. Right. I can see, you know, OpenShift errors in Argo as, as you saw that I can, I can take a look at the events and the logs here. Um, but the, mm-hmm. the same is not like the other way around. Right. At least not yet. At least not yet. Not so. yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, so last question from Carl Phillips. Uh, is there any Red Hat recommendations slash best practices regarding the structure of the Git repo? So um, there is a lively conversation happening. About that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the best way you could have put that. Uh, yeah. So um, <laughs> do does Red Hat have an official one? No. no. There's a lot of opinions out there. We're actually, mm-hmm. st- um, you know, so working on those. There's actually a, an actual living doc mm-hmm. that um, all the red hatters, all the community of practices are um, are are, uh, are working on, are hashing yeah. out. Especially, yeah. it's essentially, we're yelling at each other on Google Docs. Um, but <laughs> what it boils down to, but we you know we we all working towards one. I am right. a uh, a believer in. Uh, um, we, he's he's going to hate I say this in what I call Gerald Ops. Um, okay. He, uh, Gerald is a architect in mm-hmm. our, um, um, what do you call it? In our um, developer. Uh, yeah, well, our, our Canadian. Um, oh, the yo, the Canadians. Yes, the Canadians are great. He has <laughs> a. I don't think. I don't think this. Oh, there we go. He has a blog. I should have it bookmarked, but I don't. So he has a blog, and in this blog, um, I just type git. Uh, Get off standards. There we go. So he has uh, uh, an opinion, and I would say like ninety percent of it I agree with on um, folder structures. I'm using this, uh, and I'll put this in chat. Um, Thank you. Well, I got it. If you want me to do it, <laughs> yeah. Um, and he, you know, he essentially lays it out, um, and you know, basically just. He, he put a lot of work into this, right? Mm. And I, for like, you know, the most part, I agree with all of it and I'm using it to formulate my opinions in the other doc. So you can think of this as the upstream for the doc we're developing. Um, and so, um, yeah. So my opinion, this is a good way using, using uh, th- this approach that, the, that, 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 the, uh, that these guys came up with. Um, Eventually, well, Red Hat will have its own, um, uh, like, official, you know, this is our recommendation. So this is a good place to start is what I'm saying. Right. Like, because, <laughs> you know, if I go back to Ansible, you know, previous job, yeah. um, like, you could do an Ansible Galaxy command, and it would init a full, like, yep. structure for you. Argo CD doesn't have a feature like that? No, um, but we do. We, meaning Red right. Hat, we have um, the GitOps operator comes mm-hmm. with the uh, cam tool so that's the um right um let's see here what do i have yeah i had developer cam um there is uh, what we call uh where's user documentation we have a uh, here let me drop this here so you guys can um take a look at that uh the cam tool does have a, a bootstrap command mm-hmm. right so we do cam bootstrap and then whatever its parameters, and it does actually give you a directory structure similar with Ansible Galaxy, right? Um, and this is the supported, this is like, you know, this is the supported Red Hat way uh, that we're telling users to do it, right? Um, do, 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 repository here. So take a look at that. Yeah, cam bootstrap, right? So then yeah. you do a cam bootstrap and it gives you the directory structure. Cool. Um, That's so. what we need. Need more of that in life. Go start that need- repo, folks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's some reading material for you guys to have, um, you know, start out with this, look at the cam bootstrap command um, and it'll uh, great starting point. So, yeah. So uh, I know you can see this too. 
Um, mm -hmm. Gerald is using Customize and that guide. Maybe Red Hat will work on a Helm version as well if they are not using the same pattern. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. And also, do you know if possible to install a custom management plugin for Argo when using the new GitOps operator? There like is a Helm a, file as a layer yeah. above Helm. And there is there is a, a plugins mechanism. Um, uh, actually, Gerald actually used uh, that to update the version of Customize that comes with <laughs> um, <laughs> that comes with Argo because like it it you know it, it trails behind a little bit, right? I call it. Yeah. Um, and so uh, there are there there is um, a a discussion around how to support plugins, right? In terms of um, the GitOps operator, so. Um, nice. 